In this video, we'll see how the Maculay's method can be used to find out slope and deflection in case of a simply supported beam subjected to the central point load W. The arrangement of the beam is shown in the figure. The total span length is L. As it is a central point load W, the distance is L by 2 from the left hand support as well as L by 2 from the right hand support. Reactions RA and RB will be equal to W by 2 as the load is acting centrally. Now we'll try to understand the concept of elastic curve, then what is slope and what is deflection. Then we'll see what are the boundary conditions and how these boundary conditions can be used to solve the equation of slope and deflection and to find out the unknowns. So as you can see, this is the support A and this is support B. Because of the load W, there will be deflection of the beam and whatever the curve that we have obtained due to the deflection of the beam, this particular curve is known as the elastic curve. So from point A, draw a tangent to this elastic curve. So this is the tangent which we have drawn from point A. Similarly, from point B also draw a tangent to the elastic curve. The angle that is made between this tangent and this beam is theta A. Here also between tangent and this beam is theta B. So theta A and theta B, these are known as the slopes at point A and point B respectively. Now we have to calculate the moment at this section xx. And therefore we must know what is the perpendicular distance between W and section xx. So consider this section xx at a distance x. x and this L by 2, if you subtract L by 2 from x, so x minus L by 2 will be the perpendicular distance because this total distance is x minus this L by 2 will give you the distance x minus L by 2 that is the perpendicular distance between W and section xx. Now consider this point C. You can see the vertical distance between beam and this elastic curve that is known as deflection. So deflection at point C will be yc. Now there is no perpendicular distance at point A and at point B. So we can say that at x is equal to 0 that is at point A the deflection is 0. Similarly at x is equal to B there is no vertical distance, there is no deflection. So deflection is 0 at this point also. So we can say that the boundary conditions are at x is equal to 0, deflection is 0. At x is equal to L, deflection is 0. Or you can say that at supports A and B, the deflection is always 0 in case of simply supported B. Now, let us calculate moment about section xx. So RA into perpendicular distance is x and it is producing clockwise moment. So perpendicular distance between RA and this xx is nothing but x. And as it is a clockwise moment, it will be positive moment. This W will produce anti-clockwise moment. So W into x minus L by 2, that will be the negative moment. So using this, we can derive certain equations, that is equation for slope and the deflection. So just now we have seen that moment at section x is RA into x minus W into x minus L by 2. Now value of RA is nothing but it is W by 2. Now this is known as the first compartment or compartment of reaction RA. This is a reactive force. So we have to put the first compartment for this reactive force RA. Now EI d2y by dx square is equal to moment about section xx. So we can equate this to the moment that is w by 2 into x minus w into x minus l by 2. Now if you integrate this equation with respect to x then we can say that the one of the differential coefficient will vanish from this because integration of d2y by dx square is nothing but what this dy by dx. So we can say that integrating with respect to x, let us see what we will get. So we will get ei d2y by dx square, integration of d2y by dx square is dy by dx is equal to value of reaction ra is w by 2, so w by 2. Integration of x is x square by 2 plus some constant of integration that is c1. That will complete your first compartment minus w as it is. Integration of x minus l by 2 is nothing but x minus l by 2 whole bracket square divided by 2. 
So let us simplify further. So it is EY, EI dy by dx that will be equal to W by 4, 2 into 2 that is 4 into x square plus c1. minus w by 2 x minus l by 2 and square of that so that is your second equation again integrate with respect to x so this is the Maculay's method so we'll get two constants and for those two constants c1 and c2 will get two we are having two boundary condition so ei integration of dy by dx again this d by dx differential coefficient will vanish so it is e i y w by 4 as it is integration of x square is x cube upon 3 plus integration of c1 is c1 x plus another constant of integration because we are differentiating again so minus w by 2 as it is integration of x minus l by 2 square is x minus l by 2 bracket cube whole divided by 3 so we can say that e i y will be equal to W by 12 into x cube plus c1x as it is c2 as it is minus w by 6 x minus l by 2 bracket cube So let us call this as our third equation. So second equation and third equation, they are important for us, but there are two unknowns in this particular equations, that is C1 and C2. So to obtain these values of C1 and C2, correct, we have to use the boundary condition. So when x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. So that we can easily substitute in this third equation because third equation is the equation of y. So put in equation 3 so now see x is equal to 0 that corresponds to reaction ra and compartment of ra is only this first compartment so we have to apply this condition only in the first compartment so again see the x is equal to 0 that is nothing but application of reaction ra and compartment of ra is this compartment so we have to apply this boundary condition only in the first compartment so whenever there is x is equal to 0 consider only the first compartment so it is w by 2 value of x is 0 value of y is also 0 that also we have substituted so ultimately what we will get all the terms are 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is also 0 so value of c2 will be ultimately equal to 0 so our first constant of integration that we have obtained is c2 is equal to 0 so we have to substitute this only in the first compartment so that we already seen. Now second boundary condition is what? At the other support that is at point B that is at x is equal to L also the deflection is 0. So in place of y it is 0 in place of x substitute L. So you can see in place of x we have to substitute L. So wherever there is a x you can substitute L in that equation. So x minus l by 2 that is l minus l by 2 bracket. Yeah. So subtract bracket cube. So put x is equal to l and y is equal to 0 in equation 3. So this is w l cube by 12 plus c1 l minus w by 6. Now cross multiply by this 2 to this l. So 2 l minus l divided by 2 that is nothing but l by 2. The first two terms as it is now l by 2 cube that is l cube by 8 so we have to find out the value of this c1 so this is 0 is equal to again the first two terms we will keep it as it is and 6 into 8 that is 48 so what we will do we will transfer this negative term on the other side it will become positive that is w l cube by 48 and similarly w l cube by 12 also we will transfer on the other side as it is positive it will go on the other side and it will become negative so that will be equal to c1 l 
now taking 48 as the LCM. So 12 fours are 48. So here in the numerator, we'll multiply by four. And here it is WL cube as it is. And that value will be equal to C1 into L. Ultimately, we have to find out what will be the value of C1 over here. WL cube minus four WL cube, that is minus three WL cube divided by 48 is equal to C1 L. Now you can calculate, now you can cancel out one of the L from this and then calculate the value of C1. So let us cancel out the value of L from both the sides. So L and L cube, only L square will remain. Then we are having three and 48, 16 threes are 48. So ultimately value of C1 that we will get is minus W L square upon 16. So these are the values of C1 and C2. So C1 is minus W L square by C 16 and C2 is zero. So these values we will have to substitute in equation two and three. So from equation two, we are having EI dy by d is equal to W by four X square plus C1 minus W by two X minus L by two bracket square. Now value of C1 is negative value minus W L square. Just now we have calculated that value upon 16 minus w by 2 x minus l by 2 bracket square as it is so let us write down this term so this equation will represent the value of dy by dx that is nothing but what slope so on the left hand side we'll write down ei dy by dx so dy by dx is known as the slope dy by dx or theta is known as the slope so dy by dx will be equal to transfer this ei which is in multiplication it will go on the other side in the division so it will be one upon ei and this rest of the term will be as it is that is this particular term will be as it is so let us call this as our equation one now from equation three we have to obtain the equation of deflection so therefore we can say that ei y will be equal to wx cube by 12 plus c1x plus c2 minus w by 6 x minus l by 2 bracket cube. Now here also we have to substitute the values of c1 and c2. So values of c1 is minus wl square by 16x, c2 is 0 and this particular term will be as it is. So y will be equal to transfer this ei on the other side it will be reciprocal of ei that is 1 upon ei and this term will be same that is w 12 minus w l cube w l square by 16 into x minus w by 6 x minus l by 2 cube as it is now we'll calculate the value of slope at support a that is at x is equal to 0 so from the equation of the slope dy by dx will be equal to 1 upon ei into bracket so this equation which we have already derived the same equation we are writing and at x is equal to 0 only we have to take into consideration the first compartment that is this compartment where the effect of ra is there because at x is equal to 0 reactive force is ra so dy by dx at support a will be equal to 1 upon ei as it is now in place of x it is 0 minus w l square upon 16 so we can say that this first term is nothing but 0 so dy by dx correct will be equal to 1 upon ei correct this is 0 minus w l square by 16 So ultimately it is minus W L square by 16 EI. So that will be the value of slope at point A or slope at support A in this case. Similarly, we have to find out the slope at support B. So put X is equal to L in this equation A. So in place of X, we are substituting L. Now we have to substitute the value of X is equal to L in entire equation not only just in the first compartment so 
in place of x we have substituted l and here also in place of x we have substituted the value of l so it is 2 cross multiply by 2 2l minus l by 2 that is l by 2 so this is nothing but 1 upon ei as it is w l square by 4 minus w l square by 16 divided by 16 minus w upon 2 2 l minus l upon 2 that is nothing but l by 2 you can write down directly also so l by 2 square that is l square by 4 so ultimately it is 1 upon ei the value that we are getting is w l square by 4 minus w l square by 16 minus w by 2 and 2l minus l by 2 that is nothing but l by 2 bracket square so this is l square by 4 so let us simplify further so it is 1 upon ei as it is w l square by 4 minus w l square by 16 minus w l square by 8 16 is the same so here you will have to multiply by 4 4 4 is 16 and here 8 to the 16 so you have to multiply by 2 in the numerator and over here 4 in the numerator so 4 w l square because 4 4 the 16 w l square as it is and 8 to the 16 so 2 w l square so ultimately it is 4 w l square minus w l square that is 3 w l square minus 2 w l square so it is w l square by 16 that will be the bracketed term so 16 in the denominator and the numerator it will be w l square so ultimately it is the slope at support b is w l square upon 16 ei now we have to find out the value of deflection under load that is at point c x is equal to l by 2 because c is the central point and that we have to substitute in equation 2 so it is w by 2 into l by 2 and cube of that minus so the equation is second equation is over here so w x cube by 12 it is actually not 16 so in place of x we can substitute l by 2 in this second equation instead of 16 it was 12 so that already we have seen that correction already we have seen so w by 12 l by 2 q minus in place of x it is l by 2 and in place of x it is l by 2 so this l by 2 minus l by 2 so the first third term will vanish over here so ultimately deflection will be equal to 1 upon ei w by 12 l cube by 8 that will be the next term which is there in the bracket minus w l square into l that is l cube upon 16 into 2 that is 32 now this 12 into 8 is nothing but 96 so it is 1 upon ei w l cube by 96 minus w l cube upon 32 so 96 is the lcm 32 3 is 96 so here we will multiply by 3 in the numerator so 1 upon ei as it is w l cube minus 3 w l square so this is w l cube minus 3 w l cube that is minus 2 w l cube upon 96 so cancel out 2 and 96 also from the numerator and denominator we are having so this will be 48 minus 1 upon 48 so ultimately the deflection will be minus w l cube upon 48 ei negative sign indicates that the deflection is in the downward direction
So in this way, we can find out slope and deflection in case of a simply supported beam carrying central point load W. Thank you very much for watching.